He may be bruised, injured and has lost an arm, but he's still alive. And the governor of Ambar province wants to send a message that he's back. It's first day back in office for this engineer turned independent governor. He narrowly escaped death when a suicide bomber attacked in late December. He can now stand again on his feet and move his hand. From the first moment, I have seen the suicide bombers. I have seen the smoke on his body, but I didn't hear the voice at that time because I don't know what, why. And you know what happened later. The suicide bomber struck in what was a protected area and reminded many that they are not immune. This is where the governor was attacked. He was inspecting the aftermath of a suicide car bomb at the main gate of this local government building. He walked back, then a suicide bomber wearing an explosive belt ran towards him and detonated his charge. Two of his bodyguards and a local official died instantly. Governor Qasem underwent extensive treatment in Baghdad, the United States and Germany. Yet he remains defiant and says nothing will stop him from doing his job. I want to tell them that they are losing, losing their people, losing their lives, losing their reputation in the, in the society because we are moving and we will never look left or right. We are looking only to our target. At his office, the notables of Amba and well-wishers greet the governor. And the election is just a few days away. I ask them to share the election because any one form didn't use, maybe it could be used against us. Mm -hmm. So all the empires, I hope that they will share and that we will, get, we will reach a good percentage of sharing in, in comparison with the other governorates. For now, the governor may forget the attack, but his scars will be there forever. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Ramadi, Western Iraq.